Hey, how's it going? I'm Enrique from Novation, and today I wanted to take you through how I performed falling pedals on circuit rhythm. Overall, this performance was relatively simple. I heavily leaned on circuit rhythm's features to spice things up for the simple beat. So this whole song revolves around this chord sample that came with circuit rhythm, which of course you could record your own samples in, but I really liked the way this one sounded. And I actually utilized two tracks to play the same sample, but in different modes. And the reason I did this is because I really like the way a sample sounds when there are rhythmic elements in them that slowly fall out of time. So I use both keyboard mode to let the sample play as is, as a one shot, and I also use that sample in slices mode to have a bit more control when I wanted to kind of create a bit more of a unique rhythm with the same sample. I start off with a preview of the sample on track seven in slice mode where I can play it manually and kind of play my own version of what the breakdown of the song is eventually going to sound like. And that sounds like this. So once I get the tempo going of that preview, I then press play and start it accordingly. And this time the sample's actually playing back on track eight in keyboard mode. To keep things interesting, I immediately jump over to some of my favorite grid effects. For example, I have a little reverser, maybe a beat repeat. Then I activate latch and this turn on both vinyl and a beat repeat. And Latch will just hold those down for me. That way I don't have to risk cramping my hand up while doing some weird, you know, shape or something like that. And when I'm ready, I just tap Latch again and it'll unlatch those selected effects. Once that's done, I jump over to track six, which is where I have a synthesizer sample. And for this sample, I want to record it into track six's pattern, but quantized, which by default, circuit rhythm is already quantized, which is great for me. But to turn it on or off, you hit shift and record, and I'll utilize this unquantized recording later. This is where things get really fun because once I record in the lead, I can record in smooth automation, for example, filterize. So let's try that now. And once that automation is recorded in, an awesome thing to do is to utilize Mutate. So what Mutate will do, just a quick explanation, is it will look at each individual step and rearrange it randomly across the same one bar or two bar pattern. So because I have a smooth rise in my LFO, it will take that automation as well and the note information and move it around. And this kind of reminds me of like a sample and hold almost random style LFO, but rhythmically to the beat. So check this out. Basically just tap it until I find a pattern I like. Once that is done, I go and utilize scenes to jump to a breakdown. So in this scene, it already has my newly recorded lead line in it. This is great because it helps me from having to re-record the same lead line and it helps me jump to a breakdown with something I've already added in manually as I was performing. All right, time for the second half of the song and I'll go slow for this part. To transition to the second half, I hold clear on track six's automation and move the filter so that I can clear the automation of track six's filter and set it into a position that I like to record the new lead line. So as this plays, hold down clear, wiggle the filter around, and I can set it there. And now that that's there, I can hold down the mixer button, which will activate a toggle mode, which means I can go back to the last page I was on as soon as I let go of mixer. And you can do this with any button, check it out. Effects, patterns, velocity, it'll always go back. So mixer, now that I'm holding this down, I can select a new scene, which has a blank pattern for track six that I've already set up ahead of time. So when I let go of mixer, I'll turn record quantize off to allow a finer resolution of recording. And then I wanna hit record and start playing in the new lead line. Notice that this pattern is a setup beforehand as well with two bars activated and a slower sync rate to extend the two bars into four bars. So record quantize off, I'll turn record on, and we'll just say. This is just the new lead line. Cool, with that line in, now let's go ahead and make it super extra with tons of effects. So I'm gonna go over to our effects page, tap a delay preset, 
and just send track six to it as much as possible because once everything comes back in, I'm just gonna start fading this out. Track six, turn the filter up, toggle to mixer, launch the last scene. And in this scene, there is a new baseline pattern and the sample is also on track seven in slices mode, as you can see here. And this is just creating a more unique rhythm for the same original sample that was on track eight in one shot keyboard mode. So back to the lead line, I'm gonna start turning the filter down. And what's cool is I can also use toggle to jump to track seven and start turning its filter down as well. Back to six. All right, mixer, mute six. Go to our grid effects, turn latch on, and then just do some vinyl, and then some press pause, unlatch. Boom, and that's it, easy peasy. Uh, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for checking it out. All right, peace.